Angler and the Salmon An angler on the margin of a river was fishing for a smaller kind of fish, and therefore had furnished himself with such delicate tackle that his hook was fixed to a single hair. Now it chanced that he hooked a large salmon which, he concluded, would have proved the destruction of his slender apparatus. However, by judicious management he so gently played with his prey in giving it way and avoiding any act of violence, that at last he fairly conquered this huge fish and drew it safely to the shore, exhausted by its own ineffectual efforts to get free. Thus the large salmon had not strength enough to resist the power of a single hare. Much may be done by a patient and prudent conduct where violence would fail. The Foxes and the River A number of foxes assembled on the bank of a river and wanted to drink, but the current was so strong and the water looked so deep and dangerous that they didn't dare to do so but stood near the edge, encouraging one another not to be afraid. At last one of them, to shame the rest, and show how brave he was, said, I'm not a bit frightened. See, I'll step right into the water. He had no sooner done so than the current swept him off his feet. When the others saw him being carried downstream, they cried, Don't go and leave us. Come back and show us where we too can drink with safety. But he replied, I'm afraid I can't yet. I want to go to the seaside, and this current will take me there nicely. When I come back, I'll show you with pleasure. The boastful present their misfortune as their advantage. The blind man and the lame man. A blind man, being stopped in a bad piece of road, met with a lame man, and entreated him to guide him through the difficulty he had gotten into. How can I do that? replied the lame man, since I am scarce able to drag myself along. But as you appear to be very strong, if you will carry me, we will seek our fortunes together. It will then be my interest to warn you of anything that may obstruct your way. Your feet shall be my feet, and my eyes your eyes. With all my heart, returned the blind man, let us render each other our mutual services. So taking his lame companion on his back, they, by means of their union, traveled on with safety and pleasure. From our wants and infirmities, almost all the connections of society take their rise.